So this is my seven figure agency team. And with this team, we bring in hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month. Right now, we're actually all gathered together going over wins, important KPIs and goals for the company, but it wasn't always like this. When I first got started, it was just me. I had to learn everything. And as I started to grow, I slowly started to hire people and bring people on. But as you start to grow, if you truly want to unlock serious growth in your SMMA, learning how to run real team meetings that drive company culture that brings everyone together, makes everyone aligned and everyone's clear on the objectives and the goals of the agency, that's what separates six figure SMMAs versus multi seven figure CEOs. So take out a notepad because you're going to get an inside look on how a multi seven figure business runs their company meetings. So you can do the same too. Totaling 18 K let's go. I know we've been a little bit slower on scheduling in a few areas, but these closes are definitely what's going to be, uh, retaining these clients. We got Anthony Fletes. We got 39 schedules in four days. Let's go. One thing I want to kind of pause and touch on is we're super busy. Some of y'all are behind. Uh, we got some coverage that we're taking care of. We got high lead flow. Anthony has some of the highest lead flow, which means he is a little bit more behind in a certain area, a few areas, but his calls are on point. He has the conviction. His percentages are there. 39 schedules in four days is huge, regardless if we're behind a few tasks or not worry about the person on the phone and get them to show up to the clinic. That's literally our job. Our job is not to have everything in green a hundred percent of the days. If we can, hell yeah. But our goal is to make these people show up to the clinic, right? So really, really good job right there. I love to see it. Uh, Marie got a close for on Alaska disc center for 3,200. Wendy, another two closes yesterday for Gonstead, one for 58, one for 4,500. We got, uh, Whew. All right. We got Amy restore joint updated nine closes totaling 45,000 for August. So wow. you guys are making me run out of breath with the wins. I'm super here for it. A lot of y'all above that 200 call mark. Um, as far as leaderboard points, we have a lot to calculate, look at. So I'm going to be spending a lot of time between today and Tuesday, getting that all finalized. A lot goes into that. Coverage forms, I would love them today so I can do commissions kind of, you know, on Monday. But if y'all are busy, I want you to call your clients first. I need those sheets in by Tuesday. So that's totally fine. I want to give you today to focus on clients. So I need fill in forms by Tuesday. I think it's about 2, 3 p.m. And then I could bust out commissions then. Y'all covered a lot of people. I know Andrea with all the coverage she did had 17 shows for the people she covered in um for the people she covered in august so we are covering we're doing a lot of stepping up for team members but y'all it's showing on on commissions a hundred percent i want to instead of going over the leaderboard for august man new month i'm just feeling these fall vibes like let's take a look at where we're at for september right now we're coming in so freaking strong i'm pumped Anthony Fletes got 41 schedules. It's literally the first of the month. Andrea has 39. Sam, 27. Tess, 24. We got three y'all at 23. That's Kelly, Francis, Prudence. I mean, this is awesome. We already got shows on the board. Tess has two shows. Wendy has a show. It's going to be a huge month, and I'm just super, super fired up. Dental, September fall vibes you know me and kelly rocking them basic white tees like let's go um i'm gonna keep going because i've had two lattes so i'm just gonna hand it over to Cindy. <laughs> love all the wins we had a 3.97 churn uh percentage churn in august is that right no no it's updating now 4.64 percent 4.1 point 4.64 4.64 hey that's still under five which is our striving yep. goal so round of applause there because that um that kpi is just it's a tough one but we're doing it and so i see all the results it's absolutely awesome we have a lot of momentum going into september um we have five location five dental locations um already brought on 
onboarding, doing all that. Um, in terms of marketing, now it's time to just really dial it in. I know Tess, you're taking on the first. So we want to make sure we're all prepared. I'll make sure we're all prepared in every single asset um, angle. And um, these are really good docs we brought on to super logical, great expectations, um, great clinics. And I just really feel like we're going to, this niche is going to really kind of explode us. So super excited there. Um, outside of that, just based on all the momentum in each department, and I feel like everyone's working so hard as a team, we are going to roll out um, some new bonus. I'm not going to tell what it is yet. I still got to like finalize it, but there'll be a bonus from September to the end of the year. So we'll roll that out. Yeah. Let's go. It's so exciting. Woo. Where's Gabe? Where's our hype man? Come on. Surplus. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Surplus. I'm going to get it tatted on me. Hey. <laughs> if Stevie yeah. pays for it, I will 100% get digital locks thrown up in the sleeve somewhere. I think I got some room right up there. Oh, shit. I got I mean... an appointment in October. Let's talk. <laughs> I'm down. Oh, I'll yeah. pay for it. <laughs> you definitely couldn't fire me at that point. It'd be super embarrassing, though. <laughs> we good? We're great. Uh, for me now, I can get a talk too. Uh, I got <laughs> shout outs. So, big shout out to Jesus. Uh, last two months, he's actually averaged a 4.25% churn the last, wow. two, the last 60 days. So, obviously, he's stepping up, um, retaining clients, and not even just retaining clients, but this month he had over $10,000 in just upsell revenue. Um, so that's massive. Uh, anytime we could have this massive surplus in just the account management department and have a little churn, that helps out that boost to that revenue goal um, even faster. Um, and then just overall in general, I wanna do a big shout out to the team in account management. They've worked really hard this month Overall, I think we lost under 15K across the whole account management team in just churn, um, which is really, really good. And then in total, obviously, we got, I think we hit almost 20K in upsells this month. Um, but overall, the churn obviously was really good across the board as well, um, which led us to a 4.64% you know, churn. So big shout out to you guys in account management, working hard. And um, obviously, yeah. even we even learned some new stuff this month that's probably going to even help us even more uh, towards the end of the year. So I'm super excited for that. Uh, consistency is the name of the game, guys. That's how we're going to be able to grow. Obviously, we know everyone has their one-off months, uh, but at the end of the day, consistency is what's going to help us consistently keep growing. Uh, other than that, uh, I want to give a shout out to sales as well. Uh, I know they're usually not on here, but uh, from what I see so far, there's documented 20 sales, which I know a goal for the month is 20 plus sales. So anytime you have 20 influx of sales and you hit your sales goal and you also hit your churn goal, this is where we have massive months, which led surplus to massive surplus, surplus. surplus. <laughs> surplus. <laughs> which led hashtag. I got to show you guys, which led, hold on to a 500K month that we hit in the month of August. This is half a million. This is the goal we've been reaching for. Um, not stopping, obviously, but you know, increments on the way to the, the end goal there. But uh, 500K, shout out to the team from the account management to the sales to obviously you guys getting results for these clients. That plays a huge part, obviously, in us retaining them um, and them actually referring people over as well which is another thing. Uh, in August, we had our highest referral month. We had seven referrals. Uh, we've learned in, um, we actually just listened to a podcast and account manager as a team. And what the goal was is to have as many referrals to actually at least cancel out the churn, which is exactly what we did. We lost seven clients, but we brought on seven clients just based off referrals. Huge. Nice. Huge. Let's go. Oh. Uh, which means upsells and all that stuff. That's a surplus. All the sales, the 20 plus sales, that's a surplus. So obviously a lot of shout outs there. Um, and then other than that, uh, perfect way to end the month is what your best month and perfect way to end your best month is what a three day weekend. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. hundred percent. Can we uh, do what we want to do or is that off the table? 
You can do what you want all the weekend. <laughs> yeah. Talk about baby. Uh, echoing, you know, a lot of sales coming in, guys. Obviously, we know a lot of y'all have full client lists already. Hiring is full freaking speed ahead. I know I touched base with Kelly B this morning just in lieu of referrals from you guys. Um, something she mentioned is she didn't know if they were a hundred percent the right candidate or you know exactly what we're looking for. I don't care. Send them over at the end of the day. AO and I, we are screening them. We're looking at their resumes. We're looking at the intro videos just because they're referred, of course, doesn't mean we just throw them on the team. So if you think they might be a good fit, send them in. If they're not a good fit, it's not going to come back on you, obviously. Um, so get us those referrals. We'll screen them. Um, Y'all get 2K for them um, making it past their 90 day mark, right? Hey, oh, we're doing 90 day. Yep. Correct. Yep. Yep. So get them over money in your pocket, less work on your load. So let's go. Um, other than that, Marie, what you got for us today, girl? I do have a quote today since it's the first, um, one day or day one, you decide. One day or day one. Let's I'm going to be like, wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. 